Hello and welcome to the event uh, widget tutorial video. Uh, the event widget is, uh, um, you can think of it as a calendar uh, for your for your app. Um, it's, it's actually really cool. You click on it, um, it'll bring it up. Let me go ahead and put an event in here. Let's go ahead and select which icon I want for it. Um, this also has sections at the top, so you can create multiple calendars if you'd like. So let's say this is Cal 1. And then I want to add another one that's Cal2, um, you know, so on and so forth. I can create that list of calendars. Now, I have two options. I can, I can either create a manual entry calendar, which is pretty self-explanatory. It's manual. Uh, I'll show you how that works, though. Or I can do an iCal feed, um, which is, which is uh, cool because what that'll do is it will uh, sync with, your, with any calendar that pushes out an iCal feed and uh, show the events whenever there is one added to that calendar, it'll automatically sync and it'll uh, display on your app. So let's first start with the manual, then we'll go to the iCal for calendar two. So for calendar one, we're gonna click manual. If I click manual, it's gonna ask me to, to put a new event in. So I'm gonna put event one, enter a location, uh, just you know, select this uh, uh, location. It's gonna ask me when does it start? So let's just say it starts on that date. Let's just say it starts on this time. It's in it's in military time, but that's okay. Uh, let's say I want to start on. Uh, it's going to end on uh, this date at this time. Now I have the option down here as well. I can either choose all day or I can select repeat. If I select repeat, I can have these certain parameters to show me how often I want to repeat it. Um, I can end end it and. Uh, um, I, I can I can select that. I can add description. Um, this is an awesome event. And then here, if I have a web URL, say I have like, you know, I, I have like an RSVP link or something like that. I I want to link out to something. Um, then I can just put in this web URL. Um, I'll just put a fake one for now. I'll just do that. Um, and then um, if I click display in browser, it's going to take me outside of the app. If you want it to stay within the app, just make sure that that's unchecked and it's totally fine. Um, so you can click add. So I'm going to add this event. Now you can see that this is a, it'll tell me by looking at this, it'll tell me a few things about this event. Um, it tells me when it is. It tells me uh, when it starts. Uh, it tells me um, if it's a repeating event, it tells me when it's repeating, which says daily, and it gives me the event name. Now you can see I can either click edit at the top of the corner, or I can click the X, which will delete it. Okay. Um, so if, if I have a, a recurring event, it's only going to show me the next event. It won't show me a big, long list of a bunch of different events. It's just going to show me the next event that's coming up. So that's really cool. It kind of streamlines it a little bit. So that's manual entry event. So you can see I can go in here and I can I can see the uh, information that I've put in, my website, location, all that kind of stuff. Uh, for calendar two, I'm going to do an iCal. Very simple. All I do is click iCal, and then I'm going to put in my iCal URL. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get the U the iCal URL for Google. Um, if you have a different type of calendar, um, then you can just probably Google and see if uh, that calendar does provide an iCal type feed. Uh, and if it does, then that's great, and you just want to grab that URL, plug it in. I'll show you for the uh, for uh, Google Calendar. All you're going to do is go to your calendar. You're going to see your list of calendars over here. Um, you're going to go to the calendar you would like to sync. You, you, right, or, um, you just click on the down arrow. Click on Calendar Settings. It's going to take you to this page. Now, You'll see here, under Calendar Address, you're going to see that it has a few different feeds. Uh, this iCal feed is the one I want, so I can just click on that. I can copy this link. I can go back here to the iCal URL, paste that in. And then when I do that, then you can see that it's already synced all of these events. And if there's a description forum, it'll pull that as well. If there's a location forum, it'll pull that as well. But it has synced my event. So now every single time um, I add an event, 
to this calendar here, it's automatically going to sync it with this calendar right here. So uh, very cool. And uh, that is how the event calendars work.